A trio of teens now under arrest, accused of targeting a Weston neighborhood with messages of hate. And detectives say one of the incidents happened on a Jewish holiday. Local 10's Terrell Fournay is live outside BSO headquarters with the details. Terrell. And all three accused culprits are 16-year-old boys. And detectives here at BSO, they say that two out of the three are now facing enhanced felony hate crime charges. The Weston Hills community may be gated, but an area inside of the suburban neighborhood was still hit by hate repeatedly in October. Vandals spray painted racial slurs and anti-Semitic statements on a children's playground at Hunter's Point Park. These are hate crimes on the surface. Broward's sheriff says one of the attacks happened on Yom Kippur, a solemn Jewish religious holiday. More acts of hate were found at the golf course at Weston Hills. Slurs, swastikas and anti-Semitic remarks were discovered inside and outside of the bathrooms at the golf course. Deputies logged three attacks in one month. Brought back uh, a lot of pain and suffering into the Jewish community, but all, also as well into the African American community for some of the derogatory comments that were made there. BSO stepped up patrols, collected tips from the public and scoured surveillance video, which eventually led to the three teens. Detectives, though, didn't have to go far. They, they are local residents uh, within a community. And the, the problem that we have here, uh, Terrell, is the fact that we can't afford to dismiss these threats. We have to treat every single one of them as it is severe, and it is serious. The cleanup is in the thousands of dollars. As for a motive, the trio claimed to do it all for attention. Now there's a sentiment of remorse and regret. And now they're talking about that this was supposed to be a joke. This is not a laughing matter. So criminal mischief and burglary to a structure are just some of the other charges that these 16-year-old boys are now facing. Each one remains in a juvenile detention center tonight. Reporting live near Fort Lauderdale, Terrell Fournay, Local 10 News.